Right, okay. Uh, I'm doing my last review from Vapis Vapors, and this one is also a new flavour, and it's Cherry Vapewell, and it's 32 milligram, again 50 50, and it's Vapist's version of a popular dessert. Now, um, one of the things I really enjoy is a Bakewell tart. The only thing that I don't enjoy is the cherry, because I don't like cherries, I throw them away. So, when I got this through I thought, oh that's going to be something I'm really going to look forward to testing out. Now, um, I've been vaping it for most of the morning, along with others to test them out. Now, initially when I started vaping it, I thought, no, there's, there's something in it that I'm not liking and I thought I'm just not going to like it but with everything else what I like to do is give it time go away, come back to it, go away, come back to it and that's what I've been doing, I've been swapping with flavours and initially I wasn't happy but the more I've vaped it, and the more I've come back to it, the more the Bakewell has come in. And I can say it's starting to taste like a cherry Bakewell. Vapor's alright, there's no problem there with vapor. Um, I don't know whether it's just today or what, but I'm not really getting throat it <laughs> as such. Um, 32 milligrams should be really <laughs> hitting me back at throat, but it's not. But as I say, I'm not. I'm not sure whether it is. You know. Even as a smoker, some days you feel it hit, some days you don't. And today, it's, I don't know whether it's just one of those days or not, but I'm not really getting throat hits. But I'm not as bothered because, I, you know, it's about, well, no, it is about throat hits as well. But flavours and everything, that's that's the main thing. And, um, I'm getting, now, and I have been for a little bit, everything about eating a cherry bakewell tart. But it's, it's not the initial eating of it, it's the aftertaste of it. And that I don't mind, because I'm still, I am getting it, and it, and it is there. I'm, I'm, it's more of the actual fillings of, of the bakewell that I'm getting first. But then I am getting that, that pastry. Definitely there, without question. Um, would I buy it? Yeah, I would buy it, without a doubt. Could I vape it all day? No, I couldn't, to be honest with you. But nor could I eat cherry bakewells all day. I just couldn't do that. It is lovely, there's no doubt about that. But I think. Out of the three that I've tested so far, from Vapis Vapors, this, this is the one that I could hit, I could hit every now and then throughout the day, but not all the time. I've got to be honest about that. But for something just to have a change for a couple of hours, and then maybe go back to your regular vape, then maybe come back to it later on, um, without question. And if you love or you, you enjoy cherry bakewells then yeah this will be for you um, but I think if I was to try and vape it all day I'd end up kind of getting the feeling of eating bakewells all day and I'd get sick of it but the question is has he got it right yeah I, th I think he has it is a lovely vape but as with all, all, all things sweet you know you, you can only have so much of it at one time but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it because the flavour's there and everything's coming through. Yeah, I'd buy it. Definitely, I'd buy it. 
but it won't be an all day vape, that's the only thing. For me anyway, for, that's, that's my personal opinion. So anyway guys, there you go, there's the uh, three from Vapis Vapors, um, all good stuff, um, all thoroughly enjoyable, two of them I would say is for me an all day vape, the apple and custard and the cinder deja vu, this one, um, very nice but maybe not an all day vape.